we reached the cave, I decided that I had better go in first. It was an interesting cave, but it was narrow and twisting. Certainly no place for students. I hesitated because there were so many obstructions ahead. to see whether it was safe. All of a sudden, I inhaled and got nowhere. I reached for my emergency valve. It did no good. I looked to Gracie for help. Why was she standing there? She could see that I was in trouble. But Gracie had planned it this way, not to come to my rescue till I'd really appreciate it. This she hadn't planned, getting hung up herself. Nor this, tearing her air hose loose. Now we were both in trouble. Bad trouble. She had air, but her breathing apparatus was wrecked. I had no air, but my breathing apparatus worked. There was nothing to do but try to switch mine to her tank, if we could both hold our breath till the job was done. Gracie, I remembered, couldn't hold her breath long. I worked feverishly. She held on. Gracie, the irresponsible, was at last behaving like a grown-up, despite lungs that threatened to burst and a sensation of panic that could have made her swim blindly to destruction. Her every reaction was the right one. As we finally swam toward the surface, sharing our air, I felt that she had at last proven herself. The truth didn't come out till later.